adequate punishment for traitor. Harry Madley as Charles placed him in second row in Queen Funeral. Royal fans were left furious as Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle were sat in the second row for the Queen's state funeral. While Prince William, his wife Kate Middleton and their children Prince George and Princess Charlotte sat in the front row for the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were placed behind the new King and Queen consort. Those watching the funeral were infuriated with many claiming it was a public punishment for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle leaving the royal family as senior members. Taking to Twitter to comment on their position in the second row for the state funeral, Soph posted, How is Prince Harry in the second row but Zara and her fella in the first? Lamar what? Holly Collins added, Make no mistake, this is a public punishment. Harry can't wear his service uniform and is sat in the second row, not in the front row with his brother. Charles is with his siblings, children of the Queen, who I think deserve to come first, Corinne and Oliveri posted. As they did in the procession. Then comes the heir, first row as it should be. Harry is in the second row, with his cousins. Lauren added, Prince Harry has been violated. No uniform and has to sit second row. Telepaper claimed it was pathetic writing, they put Harry and Meghan in the second row and put Mike Tyndall in front row because Kate couldn't possibly stand near Harry and Meghan for an hour. During the service, Prince Harry could be seen looking over at his brother William. The Duke of Sussex cut a somber figure as he stood next to Meghan and remembered his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. Prince William meanwhile was sat in the front row with his wife and children, who were the youngest at the state funeral. Meghan Markle appeared overcome with grief during today's funeral for Queen Elizabeth II. The Duchess of Sussex shed a tear as millions across the world watched the historic state funeral for the late monarch. The 41-year-old has joined other royals in commemorative events alongside her husband Prince Harry after the Queen died on September 8. Last week, Meghan also appeared emotional at the service for the royal at Westminster Hall. She was seen taking in a deep breath when the coffin went by her and curtsied at the end of the service. For the latest updates as King Charles III's reign begins, follow our live blog. Meghan grieved in public alongside other members of the royal family as the nation bid farewell to its queen and watched as the late monarch left the capital for the last time. King Charles III was left close to tears during a state funeral service at Westminster Abbey, where the Archbishop of Canterbury described the Queen as having touched a multitude of lives and having been a joyful figure for many. The Queen was head of state but also a mother, grandmother and great-grandmother and in a personal touch, the wreath adorning her coffin had a handwritten note from the King. The message said, in loving and devoted memory. Tens of thousands of mourners lined the ceremonial procession route from the Abbey to Wellington Arch, where the Queen's coffin left for her Berkshire home of Windsor Castle and a committal service. Her coffin was borne on a gun carriage in a spectacle not seen for many generations, as hundreds of soldiers, sailors and airmen marched to solemn funeral pieces or lined the route. In a moving gesture, staff from Buckingham Palace stood outside the gates of the royal residence and watched as the late monarch was taken past.